Hi there, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Daru and in this video you will learn how you can set up your own affiliate marketing campaign using the native ads of MGID. So let's dive in. This video is brought to you by Deberu.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform. All right, here we are at the dashboard of MGID, the native ads platform. And in this video, you will learn how you can set up your very own CPA marketing campaign using the native ads of MGID. All right, so let's dive straight in. I'm already logged in. So if you don't have an account yet, make sure that you sign up for MGID. And then once you have your account, log into your account. And then this is exactly what you will see, the dashboard of MGID. All right, and when you want to create a new campaign, it's very straightforward. You just have to click on the button Add Campaign. So we're gonna do exactly that. And then we're gonna follow the steps to create our own campaign, all right? So uh, I'm gonna walk you through all the different steps of creating a campaign with MGID so that you know exactly what you're up to. First, we have the name. And for the name, I recommend to have a couple things always in there, which are the uh, geo abbreviation, and the product of what, what you're promoting, the, the product uh, that you're selling, right? Uh, so those two are basically, for me at least, a must in the title of your campaign. Uh, personally, I like to have the affiliate network in there as well so that I know where I got this offer from. Uh, but that's, that's more of a personal preference. Uh, but I would highly recommend you to have at least the geo and the name of the offer in there. Uh, so let's say worldwide for now example and uh, then we want something like an affiliate network right so f network that's how i would do it then we have the campaign type um so nine out of ten times when you're using mgid it's going to be product promotions uh you can also do content promotion push ads or search feed uh, but most commonly used is the product promotion then we have the campaign get category. So here you want to tell kind of the vertical that you're in. Uh, so if you have a weight loss product, select health uh, or, f or where would it be? It's probably weight loss. Yeah, nutrition. So whatever your, your vertical is, whatever you're promoting, uh, select that vertical right here. Uh, so there are all kinds of verticals. You can search for them. Just select the vertical that best fits your offer, okay? Then we have the campaign language. So this is the language that you're using for your ads, okay? Uh, so if you are going to create your ads in English, then select English. If you're gonna do it in another language, then just select that language, very easy. Then we have the block before show. So when this is turned off, your ads will go live as soon as the MGID team has uh, reviewed your ads and approved your ads, okay? Uh, if you don't want your ads to go live immediately, for example, maybe you need to check a couple of things or maybe you're waiting for a specific date when you want to launch your campaign, then just turn this off and that will mean that your ads will or your campaign will stay paused even after the uh, approval of the MGID team. All right, then we have the targeting. So first we have the geo-targeting. Uh, so here are on the left are all the different parts we can target on. Uh, so let's start with the geo and then if we go one column to the right we can select specific geos that we want to focus on okay so we can do entire continents like africa uh, but that might be a lot of countries right so most likely you only want to focus on one geo at a time so let's remove this again but if we unfold africa we can see all kinds of countries and regions even okay uh, so let me take another example let's take uh, Europe is a good example so right here we have all the different countries inside of Europe they have traffic for Albania Belgium Croatia Cyprus Denmark etc 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 and if we unfold for example France we see the regions of France so Alsace I don't know if I pronounce it right but whatever Aquitaine uh, Auvergne whatever right uh, sorry my French pronunciation is terrible uh, but you can focus on specific 
uh, regions inside the geo that you're targeting. Uh, for example, very useful if you have quite a lot of data and you see that specific regions do work and specific regions don't. Okay, so at the start of your campaign, you might want to start with the complete country France, just add the complete country, there we go. But then later on, if you notice that, for example, uh, Pays de la Loire is not promoting that well, then you can remove it. And now you have blacklisted that region, basically, you're no longer promoting in that specific region. Okay, let's get it back in there to have the complete France. There we go. All right, next up is the browser targeting. So the browser targeting, what kind of browser is the user on? All right, so currently I haven't selected anything, which means that we do don't target on browser. And that's actually how I like to start my campaigns so that I can generate the data of these different browsers and the users that use these browsers. But later on, once again, if you have enough data and you find out that specific browsers perform better uh, than other browsers, then you might want to include uh, specific browsers or exclude specific browsers. Okay, uh, so you can just use the plus if you want to include and the X or the minus if you want to ex exclude. Okay, so now I showed you how to include and delete that again. But for example, if the only good audience is on Google Chrome, then we can also say, okay, we just do Google Chrome, or if only the bad audiences of Google Chrome, we can exclude Google Chrome. Okay, so that's how that works. Then we have the targeting on the operating system. Uh, so first we have desktop, mobile, tablet, or smart TV. So you can make your first selection here. For example, maybe you only want to run on mobile, then you can add mobile. All right. But then during that mobile campaign, you might find out that specific operating systems or specific operating system versions don't promote well. So you can exclude specific operating system versions or operating systems. For example, uh, Android 2.2 and lower, maybe I want to exclude that, uh, then I can do it like this, exclude, there we go. Or like this, whatever you prefer, okay? So that's how that works. Then we have the browser language targeting. So the browser language targeting is the targeting on the language that the user has selected for their browser. Doesn't say anything about the languages they speak, but it does give it some, um, yeah, some route to it, right? If you don't speak French, then it's unlikely that your browser is set on French, okay? So you can use these as well, just the same way, include or exclude specific languages, okay? So in France, I would make my ads in French, um, let it translate by a professional translator, and I might want to include the French browser language settings only uh, to make sure that the people I reach actually are able to read my ads. Then we have the mobile connection. So you can include or exclude Wi-Fi or carrier internet. Um, not something I would do at the start of my campaign, but later on when I have enough data, I might want to start using this. All right, let's confirm this and let's go to the next options. The next option is the schedule. So with the schedule, you can select specific days of the week and slash or specific hours on those specific days where you do or do not want to run your campaign. Okay, at the start of the campaign, this is not so very important because you want to generate data on all those different days and all those different hours. Okay, however, later on, if you notice that on Wednesday between the hours of 3 a.m. and 4 a.m., you still have quite some traffic, but it doesn't sell at all, then you might want to exclude that. So then you can go to Wednesday, 3 a.m., there we go. Now we have excluded that specific hour, and now we keep running all the other hours, but we skip that 3 to 4 a.m. on Wednesday, okay? So you can use this in your advantage, but I would recommend you to generate data first so that you can make these decisions on the scheduling based on data and not on any assumptions or opinions that you have, okay? So at the start, I would not use this, but later on, I might. Um, also note that the time zone settings are set on UTC minus seven, um, America, Los Angeles, Pacific time. Um, so keep that in mind, okay? If your uh, data inside your tracker is set on a different time zone, then you need to calculate it to make sure that you just pick the right hours. 
Next up are the limits. So you can set your limits inside of MGID by clicks, daily limit, overall limit of clicks. You can also set it on budget, your daily budget, your overall budget. You can set it on conversions. This might be useful if you have a conversion cap and you can set it on unlimited. Unlimited, very straightforward. There are no limits, of course. Um, usually nine out of 10 cases, you would use the budget limit uh, to set a daily budget, for example, $300. Uh, you can also set an overall limit if you want. Uh, that's basically a campaign budget. So if you don't wanna spend more than an X amount on this campaign, you can set that as the overall limit. Then we have two more options down here. Do not show all teasers by campaign after conversion to action. So you can specify the amount of days when ads won't be shown to users who had an action. Uh, to use this option, you must configure, configure action step, okay? So when you uh, do this, then uh, the teasers, your ads are not being shown to somebody who already bought your product for an X amount of days. And right here, we have split the budget evenly throughout the day. So when you check this, it will use your daily budget and spread it over a 24 hour period every day. Meaning that you have about the same amount of traffic every hour. You have about the same amount of spent every hour as well to generate that traffic. Okay, uh, if you do not select this, then your daily budget will be spent as soon as possible every time a new day starts, which may conclude that you have a lot of data on all the different days for the first five hours, for example, of the day. But then every time after five or six hours, your budget, your daily budget is done and you don't spend anymore. So you also don't generate any data anymore. Okay. And by checking this box, it prevents that from happening and it will split your budget over a 24 hour period. Next up is the tracking tag. So I think this one is pretty straightforward. This is for your uh, tracking, of course. Uh, so the UTM source, the UTM medium, and the UTM campaign. You can also add custom tracking tags. Uh, and then right here we have the conversion sensor. So the conversion tracking, basically, you can get your pixel code right here. Pretty straightforward, just set up your tracking, okay? I'm going to turn them off right now so that we can continue later on. Uh, right here, we have the push campaign option. So um, if you're just testing out with this campaign, I wouldn't recommend to create a push campaign right off the bat as well. But as soon as you have a successful campaign and you want to scale it, you might want to think about scale it to a different ad format. That is something that quite a lot of affiliates do when they, for example, notice that there is no scale left anymore in this native ads campaign. In that case, you might wanna move it to a different ad format to see if it there performs the same way on native uh, and generate even more income, okay? So instead of having to create an all new campaign, you can just select this one right here and it will automatically duplicate your campaign, but then as a push ads campaign, which can be quite useful and as you will now be able to uh, quite quickly create a scale campaign on push. All right, um, I'm gonna turn it off for now and let's press save, okay. All right, so next up, basically the campaign settings are now done. So the hard part has already been done. Congratulations, by the way. Uh, now we just have to create our ads, okay? So we're gonna press create to create our ads and creating the ads is pretty straightforward as well. First, we have the URL. The URL in this case is the URL where the user will be sent to and you want this to be your campaign URL. Why do you want this to be your campaign URL and not for example, your landing page URL? That is because affiliate marketing is all about data. So we need to make sure that we capture that data. And how can we do that? We can do that by using our campaign URL, which will pass all the information back into our tracker. So let's open up the tracker for a second. I'm gonna go to the Debaru platform uh, where I'm gonna sign in real quick. And then we're going into the tracker. All right, there we go. Here we are at the dashboard. I'm gonna go to the tracker. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a random campaign right now. So for example, this one, um, edit, okay. 
And when we go to the tracking and automizer tab right here, that's why you will find the campaign URL. Or when you create your new campaign inside your tracker, uh, you will automatically get this page with your campaign URL uh, at the last page of your campaign creation. So basically when you have set up your campaign, they will show you your campaign URL. So we're gonna copy that and that's the URL that you want to paste in here, okay? Then we have the title, so this is gonna be the hat line. Um, so whatever you have prepared, you can type it in right here. Um, I don't remember exactly how many, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. How many characters we have for the title, uh, but maybe we can check. Um, let's see, creative guidelines. Oh, there we go, content policies. Um, Okay, don't know. Mm -hmm. Headlines guide, okay. Uh, okay, so 65 characters. Uh, that's what you have in terms of uh, the length of your headline. So type in your headline here. P.S. Don't forget about capitalization. All right, don't forget about the capitalization, very important, but you can type out your uh, headline right here. Uh, then the category is automatically pre-filled out uh, since we selected that during the campaign creation, so you don't have to change that anything, uh, but in case it is the wrong category, maybe you misclicked, so you can still change it right here. Then we have the image, uh, so for the image, um, I would personally use something like uh, 1000 by 600 dimensions, something in that range, um, but we still are able to crop them as we go. So let's just uh, open up something and you will see that we get both a rectangular as well as a squared image option. Okay, so when you have selected your, your picture, make sure that it is the right dimensions, right? So that it looks good, but you can figure that out. And then just select how you want it to show when it is a squared image and how you want it to show when it is a rectangular image, as this is gonna depend a little bit on the source that you're promoting on, okay? On the specific widget, all right? So uh, make sure you select them both and that they both look good uh, in the selection that you have made them. And then right here we have your bid, the price of clicks measured in cents, very important. Uh, so right now it is set on 14 cents, 0.19, okay? Uh, so make sure this is not 14.2 dollars, this is 14 cents, okay? Uh, make sure to keep that in mind. And uh, we're gonna apply this CPC for all regions uh, because we only have friends, so the prices are not that uh, much difference inside of France is just one geo, so one price usually. But if you have multiple geo campaign, you can also select specific G, uh, CPCs per geo location, okay? So we can select France, but if then, for example, Spain would also be in this campaign, don't know why, two different countries with two completely different languages. But just as an example, if we have Spain in here as well, we could select a different CPC bid for Spain. All right, and once you've done that, click on save and add a new ad to do exactly that, add a new ad, so the same process again. And then once you have added your last ad, it's time to click on save and go to the ads list. And then you basically have created your campaign. All right, ad has been added successfully and has been sent for automatic verification. You'll be able to check the results of automatic verification in 30 minutes, thank you. Okay, which means that basically our part, on our part, we're all done with setting up the campaign. We just need for to wait for MDID uh, to verify our ads, to make sure, to review them, and to make sure they are all good uh, in terms of compliance rules. And then once it is approved, our ads go live either immediately or they will wait for us to click on that launch button, depending whether or not you select that block, block before show uh, button, okay? So that is basically how you create your very own affiliate marketing campaign using the native ads on MGID.
If you like this video and if this video helped you along your, your way with creating your native ads campaign, then please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the Debru channel if you want to stay updated about any new videos on the channel. And that's going to be it for this one, but I will catch you on the next video. And until then, peace out. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform.